Salman, do you think Terence Bud Crawford is the best fighter in the world today? Yeah. I you think, think he is? I think he's... Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Personally, uh, he's just too good. He, he, he... You think he's better than Vasil? Lomachenko's lost. You, you yeah, can but, say that oh, it was the start of his career. You can't make excuses, man. Like he lost, man. Although he looks phenomenal now, Lumen, Terence Crawford is uh, he's for better opposition in my opinion than Lomachenko so far. Because uh, you got to realize now, we, now you can't say that oh no, he hasn't even fought a Khan in the welterweight division. He has, he has, he has fought someone like a Khan now. Uh, and what he what he did was. Never, no one's ever ever done that to Khan before. You can say he's a shot fighter, but I don't think any other uh, other elite elderweight would have done that to Khan, in my opinion. I just think Crawford can punch. He's underrated as a puncher, and he's a very slick boxer. So he's got it all. He's got it all. He can do southpaw. He can do everything. That guy's genius, man. He's a very talented fighter. The, whatever he does, he knows what he's doing, and he, you can't. He, Lomachenko's not even better than Usyk, in my opinion. Um, Lusik was an undisputed cruiserweight champion. Like he beat everyone at the weight. Now he's moving up to heavyweight. He got an injury, but he, he's not. Lomachenko isn't. He's not. He's not. He, look, yeah, you got to realize. Like even Javante Davis said, how can you say Lomachenko? All right, yeah, cool. You look at his skills, etc. But you have to look at who he's for as well. Once he fights someone that's credible or someone that you know people think that genuinely can beat him, then we'll see. Like then we'll see how good he is, and you know if he doesn't get beat or. But I don't think he's a pound for pound best fight. I think it has to go to Terence Crawford, in my opinion. I just think Terence Crawford has way too many layers. I don't think Lomachenko can do the things that Terence Crawford can do in terms of turning south point, being just as good. Those guys are too. Can Canelo Alvarez is better than Terence Crawford? No problem. Um, Canelo yeah, but, Alvarez. Yeah, but you can say that because the reason you can say that is because Canelo's fought the better opposition. But that's what so I that, mean. That, but you, you just said that Terence Crawford's the best fighter in the world. Uh, you just pound said... for pound, yeah. Because he's never lost. Plus, he's fought. He's fought. Look, yeah, pound for pound is to do with skills. It isn't to do with who's undefeated. Because if it was like that, then Anthony Joshua would be one yeah, of the best. Yeah, but skills, pound skills, for pound. pound for pound is Canelo's got the skills to pay the bills. He's, I don't he's think he has the... skills like I don't think he has skills like Terence Crawford though. Oh. he doesn't have skills like Terence just because Crawford. a guy he's got a few more layers and he can go southpaw. Canelo's shown that he's a world class fighter. Yeah, I agree. Canelo's you you got to you, you, you got to look at Crawford. he is better than Crawford. Come on, look at Crawford hasn't fought the guys that Canelo's for. Canelo's beaten everybody. But I know, but then the thing is, Crawford's never going to fought the. Um, that's like saying Keith Thurman's better than Terence Crawford then, because t- t- Keith Thurman. Yeah, but come on, Jay. Keith Thurman's not fought the fighters that Canelo's fought. Canelo's fought back to back to back killers. Let's be look Golovkin twice, Danny Jacobs, Cotto, Khan, Mosley, Mayweather. You know this guy's resume is on. Unbe- like he's fought the best. He's fought the best in Austin Trout, Alexander Lara. You know you can go on and on and on. The guys are. Fought killers after killers. Liam Smith, you know. Crap. No, but Liam Come Smith's on, not corrupt. Come He's on. Crap, Liam, Liam Smith. Smith was a world champion. Okay, okay. Who has Crawford fought on even Liam Smith? That's the kind of opponents that Le- that Crawford's faced. That's no, the kind of yeah, Crawford's, yeah, Crawford's the, faced. Yeah, but the point, what I'm trying to say is that, for example, look, he eventually, he's going to, look, when he fought Khan, he beat him easy. So it goes to show that he's yeah, a talented again, he fighter. Yeah, but again, he fought a guy well past his prime. Come on. Yeah, but what I'm trying Can to say, he, trust me, he's underrated. Listen, and he's when Canelo fought Cotto, I'm not saying Cotto was at his prime, but Can- Canelo was... He, Cotto right, was still good. You're talking 154 now. Let, let, I'm talking 147. Any of these guys that fought Can- Can- Canelo that are 140 would not beat Terrence... Mosley would not beat Terrence Crawford. No chance. Timothy Bradley would not beat Terence Crawford. Even yeah, but Timothy, Canelo didn't fight Timothy Bradley. But I'm just saying, anyone at 147 that Canelo fought will not beat. None of them will beat Terence. Or, or unless you're talking about weight advantage, 154, 160. I'm talking about 147. Terence Crawford is an absolute gun at that weight class, and I can't see many fighters even having standing a chance against him. I think he's going to take a lot of fighters apart. Like mate, like for example, Ugas gave bloody um, uh, uh, Sean Porter a good fight. Ugas, but mate. Terence Crawford's like 10 times. For me, mate, he's not going to be. Me, for me, too good. For me, Canelo's the best fighter in the world. You know, you could think Crawford, but I just think Canelo's too good. But that's my opinion. In terms of resume, yeah, you have to give it to Canelo because Crawford has not yet fought the, um, the volume of good fighters that he needs to to be, you know, the number one. Uh, but the thing is, obviously, uh, pound for pound isn't just, you know, 
about having an undefeated record as we know it's about the skill level like even Anthony Joshua said that I'm not number one Lomachenko or Crawford because they've got a lot more skill than me sometimes it's not you lose Canelo it doesn't matter if you lose that doesn't determine whether you're pound for pound like when Mayweather was pound for pound he used pound for pound because he was skillful his record I don't think they take record into consideration when for me, you're looking for pound Canelo's for pound. the best fighter in the world but that's just my opinion leave your thoughts guys and guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.